Hello there, uh, my name is Diggs, I'm from Petrolution.net and a lot of people have been wondering how to install mods for Star Wars Empire at War and Force of Corruption as well um, they're usually debating on whether to buy the game well I can assure you that mods do work on this game I'm going to prove it to you and I'm also going to show it to you how to do it if you're wondering how um, let me just move it to the side so you can see Right, first things first, you need to go download a mod. So I'm going to take this example here of the Phoenix Rising, Rising mod, one of the most downloaded mods in Empire War history, um, and also hosted on Petrolution.net, which we really do appreciate them being there. Um, we're going to download that mod. I've already downloaded the mod just to save some time. So I'm going to move away from Empire War files and move on. There's a downloaded. Got the PR mod there. I've already opened it up. Now it comes in a mods thing. You can extract. You can just extract it to your desktop, really. Um, let me just extract it to my desktop. That would be easier. Right, well, that's while well that's extracting now, you want to go find your Steam folder. So it'll be in program files. Obviously, Windows 7 users be a bit different, but you, I'm sure you all know where your Steam folders are. Steam. You want to go into Steam Apps, and then into Common. That's where you want to go, and obviously Empire at War, uh, and then into Corruption as well, because obviously it's Force of Corruption now. You see, I've created the mods folder here already. I'm just going to move that. So here it is, the mods. Now there's the Phoenix Rising mod in there. So what we're going to do, we're going to go back to that. Folder. We're going to cut that ready for use. I'll just cut that for you. I'm going to go back to, to Corruption. You can see I've already got a mods folder there. You won't have that. I've already installed the mods. I'm going to delete the Phoenix Rising mod just for show. I'm going to paste the Phoenix Rising mod that I have. And there we go. Now you leave this. Do not touch any of it. That will be okay there. You don't need to remember any of the links, any of that. You just leave it. Get rid of that. You can now delete that mods part if you don't need it. And instead, what we're going to do, right click on that shortcut that most mods will have to run on the old versions and non Steam versions, you will have that. Uh, so, all mods will have that. You go to properties, and where you see this last part here, this mod path, that mod path equals mods for uh, Phoenix Rising version 1.1. Just copy that. Copy that. You can get rid of that now. And then you go into your Steam, into your games section, view games library and you should have here Star Wars Empire War Gold. Right click onto that, go onto Properties. Now on here, I'm going to go into Set Launch Options. Now you can see I've already got a code here, that's already for Phoenix Rising. There you go, you can paste that on there, but what you do first, on this code, you want SWEAW, and then space, and then you want that code, that mod path equals mods forward slash phoenix underscore rising underscore version 1.1. That there is just showing the Steam shortcut that that's the mods that you're using. Um, and you go in there and press OK and close. Now, just to verify, you can also do the same to this as well the Star Wars Clone Wars one. Uh, that's the other mod that I've downloaded as well. What you can do is, is you just go into there. Oh, sorry, I've actually moved the shortcut and I've deleted it as well. But it's the same principle applies. You just go there into properties, set launch options, and that mod path mods. You'll basically just have to copy and paste the folder name and change it, change it into there. So I'm going to do that for you now, just to show you. I'm going to go back. I'm going to copy that folder name, go back to launch options, take away the Phoenix Rising and change it. Click OK. Now I have to remember, because it's a Forces of Corruptions mod, you'll go on to play, Forces of Corruption, and wait for it to load up.